Hello everyone. Um, so today we are going to do a video on what I promised to do on Thursday, which is I'm going to be doing a full, full scale, like step by step mix down from the uh, Model 24. So I was going to say DP32. It is not. It's a Model 24. So first things first. At what what I'm going to assume, zoom. That you have you have set up your board. I'll show you mine here. Let's swing this over. You've set up your board how you want to record. So that is first, first and foremost. So um, next, next step is make sure that you have none of the recording buttons pressed, because that will mess up what you're trying to do here. You're not you're you're trying to do a final mix down, and the way you want to do it is. You want to mix it down to, as they call the main tracks, which on, I'm going to assume on the, on the model, on the model 24, they are the 23, 24 tracks. That's how they show up on the, on the model 16. I'm going to assume I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure on this, but I'm assuming that they're 15 and 16 and it works the same way all the way through. I don't, I don't, I don't fully know. I will have to check and I will have to put a little blurb here to say what channels they are. But that's that's neither here nor there. They are the final tra two tracks on on your on your mixing board that you want to deal with. So first thing that we want to do is you got it all set up. This is how I'm going to mix it. This is how I want it to sound. I've got my EQ and my effects and everything set up. Next, now we're going to let's just slide this over a bit here. Now we are going to first first, and I always suggest this go to go into menu. Um, we're going to go select, uh, go to menu. There we are. Go to track clear. And we want to go to the very last tracks. So see, like it has main here. So you want to clear out the main track. So whatever it is, that's the track you want to clear out. So then you will, so you select the track, see it says main. And then I push down the jog button. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Now, the reason why I do that is because you're going to be recording to the main track. Now, remember, because you have no record buttons pressed, you have no, no record is on. It's going to go. It's going to assume that if you press the record button over here, let me pull that up a bit so you can actually see there. So if I push the record button here, that's what it's going to record. That's what I want it to record. Now, if you have, if you want to set your, your start point wherever you want that's fine i'm not going to worry about it in this case um i like i said this is one of those things where i will use editing software on the on the uh computer but yeah this this is the easiest way to do it so i'm ready to go i have my main up so i have my main at zero that's where i want to record i have i have the tracks let me just show you uh, this doesn't really work very well with this but let me show you. I have the main buttons pushed down to the track. I have, as you can see, number two is muted. You can't really see that on here. But number two is muted. And I have I have the main button up. So I can show you that. There you can see the main button is up on that. It's a little hard to see. But yeah, so we have it all set up. Now, because, like I said, because we are, we're not recording to a specific track, it will record to the mains. And that is, that's the one thing you want to remember when you're doing this. That's what it does. It's very difficult. This is, I hate using the system. I need a better camera to do this. So, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record it. And then we're going to talk about what to do after you have recorded your mix down. So here we go. So, it has recorded the song. There we go. It's now on main. Now, if you want to listen back to it, I will show you. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to mute all the channels here to show you how to do this. You have this fun little button here. Let's pull back again. See if I can show it to you. To flip. This is not working. All right, let me grab the other camera. So if you want to listen back, you have this little button here. 
mute uh, SD main mix return. You can push it down and then when you play back, you are now listening through the main mix. Now the thing is, is you, I can't hear it and the reason I can't hear it is because it's not coming into the control room. But if you have your if you have your stuff set out sent set up to hook out through the mic main, you can hear it. So that's that's if you want to listen to it back. Like I said, you have to have your you have to be you have, have to have your speakers hooked up to, through the mains, not through the control panel, as I do. But you probably heard it because it did. I did show that that it was showing up on my screen. I do have the mains going into my mixer that's going into my computer. So that part I am sure worked. So next part. Now you've got your mix. Now right now your mix is on. Uh, in this case, twenty three, twenty four, because that's the next two tracks on the system. So that, but we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about that because we don't want that version. That's that's a separate. That's like a separate left and a separate right. If you want that version, I can show you how to get that version too. We'll we'll show you that when we're at that point. Um, so, but we don't, we don't really want that version. What we want is our friend here. We want to go into menu. Cause what we want to do is we want to actually just, you know, attach the both of them together and make one song. So the first thing I'm going to do, I should have done this before. Um, where's the import? I'm going to remove some stuff. I don't think I can do it from here. Let's see if I click on the song. Can I delete the track? No, it wants to import it. I don't want it to import it. All right, let's see. Um, one sec. All right, so I just I just wiped it clean because I didn't want anything in there because that's where it's gonna go. So let's let's go to the steps. So what you want to do is you want to go menu. Um, go look for stereo mix export. What that is going to do, that's going to take the two tracks of track 23 and 24. On, in this case, I'm, I'm like I said, I don't know about the 16 or the 12. And it is going to, it's going to create them as a stereo wave file. So as you can see, it says export main stereo wave file. Are you sure? Yes. So now I am creating that on the SD card and it is going into the music directory. Didn't take very long. I love fast SD cards. All right, so now what? Now the next step is you've now bridged your song together. So I'm going to turn off my machine. I always recommend turning off your machine if you're going to take the SD card out. Now you don't have to take the SD card out if you have your your um, Model 24 whatever hooked up to your your computer. I can do that. I don't. I, I'm going to do. I'm going to pull the SD card out. There is no difference. But let me show you. If you want to, if you do have your SD card hooked up, what you do is you go to storage, you click storage, and it says, do you want to switch to storage mode? And storage mode is pretty much you have, you now have convert, you, you've now made your uh, Model 24 a, an SD card reader. So it's going to read the thing. Either way, the, the, the disc will look the same. So if you do it from the computer, or if you do it from, or if you stick the SD card into your computer, it, they look identical. It's the same drive. It's there's no there's no hidden stuff like there is with like uh, the DPE008s and all that stuff. So I'm gonna say no because I'm not gonna switch it. But what I am gonna do, I'm gonna turn it off. Like I said, if you're gonna pull the SD card out, always turn it off. It's just it's safer. I know you. I know a lot of people say don't worry about it. I say it's safer. Um, let's pull the SD card out and we are going to switch. I'm going to put it into the computer over here and let's switch to screen the screen. Yeah, here we go. All right. So as you can see, we have the SD SDXC, which is this card. And we have the, you have your MTR directory, which is all your which is all your songs. We did, I just remixed the sad uke. You have the music directory and there's my mix. So that's the one that it made. 
And like I said, if you go to the MTR directory and you go into your file, you'll see I have 2324. That is my song. That is my, that's my main mix down right there. That is what it is. And once again, don't, don't play with any of this. Just leave it. It's all there for your, for a reason. So go back. Let's go back to music. So there's the song. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up another directory. Open another file view because this is what I do. We are going to go to, I'm just going to put it into uh, my CD Baby, Mike Forrester, um, where is it, Sad Uke Song, and I'm just going to say New Folder, and I'm, I'm going to name it, so New Folder. So click New Folder, and then we're going to pull Sad Uke Song over. Now, as you can see, my my stuff has an Audacity sign. That is because I've made Audacity my default uh, thing to pull to uh, open files. And the reason I did that is because that's generally what I use. So it just makes my life easier. Now I'm opening Audacity up. And what we're going to do is I'm going to pull the track into here. And there's my song. So there's my entire song. As you can see, it's low and I have a beginning, but I'll play it for you. So that, there's, there's my song and yeah, and I didn't have to burn on a CD or anything. So now from here, like, you know, if you, if you ever watch me use audacity, you can, you know how I do things and you know, so if I put it here, that's right. You got to go in. I, that's the one thing I don't, I confuse me about Audacity. So if I go to home, so I can delete the beginning. So now I've shrunk it a bit. If I want to get closer, I can just do that and then get closer. So from here to the beginning. And now let's just, and then I can do the same at the end here. So, whoops. All right, so now I want to make it louder, so I go I go effects, amplify. Oh, I have to select everything. So there. Effects, amplify. It gives me an amplification and then I say okay, and there we go. So that's as loud as I can get the song. That's pretty much the same as normalization on on a DP32, and then I'm going to do, so at the end here, I'm just going to fade it out. So once again, effects, fade out, and as you can see, it shrunk it a bit. So now if I play it, and it just fades out nicely. And that, my friends, is my song, and then this I can just do a file export, and I can export as an MP3, a wave, an AUG, whatever I want and that my friends is my video today I hope this helps you out uh, yeah so you yeah you don't have to burn this to a CD you can easily get the song off you can easily mix it down on on the model 24 it is not hard so uh, enjoy and I will talk to you later bye <music>